for this Air Cannon video, I have a surplus, completely dead, 25-inch CRT TV that I got from work. I can't power this TV up because it came to me as a shell. Uh, no electronics, no mainboard, no nothing to salvage. This is just a CRT in uh, the plastic frame. What I've done is, as usual, I've cut the top of the uh, case off and I have cut the implosion band and peeled it back to help the CRT implode. What's going to happen in this video, though, is I'm going to use very light ammunition like mints, glue sticks, uh, light sticks, rubber balls, all sorts of lightweight, odd ammunition to see if any of it is capable of uh, popping a CRT. Here's a look at some of the ammo for this video. There's a black electrolytic capacitor, a chapstick, a glue stick, a stink bomb, part of a rubber stopper, uh, a cat toy, uh, the blue rubbery core from a golf ball, a dead light stick, a white plastic marble, and an eyeball super ball, and behind all that there's an old uh, Bic lighter that's nearly out. We'll launch some of this stuff at the CRT and see if any of these things will pop it. First shot will be with a stink bomb. The stink bomb was fired at 400 psi, struck the screen, shattered, I can smell it, but the CRT is intact. Next up will be a small dead light stick. The light stick was fired at 300 psi, and I see no damage to the CRT. Hope I hit it. Next item I'll be firing is a small chapstick. The chapstick was fired at 300 psi, and we can see it splattered against the top part of the CRT. Next up is a small rubber ball fired from the 1-inch barrel this time. I see a rubber ball mark uh, on the screen. Next up is a glue stick fired from the Caliber 812 barrel, again at around 300 psi.
I think that struck the very edge of the TV and splattered off a bit to the side. Yeah, it hit on the very left edge, did not break the CRT. Next ammo is a 25 volt 3300 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. It has an aluminum can. Let's see if it'll do anything to a 25 inch CRT. I think I see a mark from the capacitor, but I don't see a broken CRT. Next up is a nearly empty Bic lighter fired from the 1 inch barrel at around 300 psi. Again, no broken CRT. Next up is a caliber 410 wooden dowel. CRT is still intact. This will be my next round, a small bottle filled with water that will be fired from my Caliber 875 barrel. Here goes the water filled small glass bottle at around 300 psi. Looks like a water-filled glass bottle was what was needed to uh, pop the CRT. Not very heavy, but it hit hard enough and that CRT finally popped. As usual, the glass and mess from the CRT have been confined to a small area by my wooden shielding, so the cleanup will not be difficult or time-consuming here. <laughs> 